Welcome to Learn Yachting with eSail. Work through these tutorials to get the best from eSail. Click the next. Instead of clicking next and back, you can use the keyboard controls. You can change all keyboard controls to suit you by pressing the key show. You can change the simulation quality and speed from the main menu, then settings. You can also select different screen resolutions, which make the interface controls larger or smaller. This tutorial is part of Learn Yachting with eSail. Your current tutorial or challenge is shown in the status bar, bottom left. Areas where training takes place are indicated by the yellow training boys. You can work your way through the tutorials by sailing between the training boys. Or you can click the menu button to access tutorials in any order. Now try turning the wheel using the keyboard control show. Note the white mark on the wheel rim showing the central position. Center the wheel by using the keyboard control. Turn on the engine by using the button shown, or you can drag the throttle up and down, or use the keyboard controls. Moving the throttle down below center engages reverse. You can use reverse to slow or stop the boat. You have completed this tutorial. Now throttle forward and steer towards the next training board. Stop right next to it. Stop the boat here, reduce the throttle or use some reverse if necessary. Now turn off the engine. In this tutorial you will learn about some of the main controls you need to get started. You will also learn where to find more information. The four mode buttons shown provide sailing, mooring, anchoring and other modes. Autopilot can be engaged by clicking the button show. Autopilot keeps the boat on the current course, but it only works while there is some boat speed from sail or engine. Try dragging in the middle of the screen. This is how you look around. Click on the Smart View button shown to return to the cockpit view. Smart View is really useful. It quickly gets you back to the normal cockpit view. Press it again and you'll get an alternate view which is related to what you're doing. Now press the control key while dragging on the screen. This enables you to orbit or circle the boat. You can go around the boat, go up or go down underwater. When you rotate your viewpoint, the compass is switched off to avoid giving misleading information. You can quickly turn it on again by clicking the Smart View button. Try out the other View button show. If you want to restart a tutorial or challenge, click the circular arrow. To view the chart and plot your position, click on the chart on the table in the cabin. There is a separate tutorial on navigation.
Click the menu button and have a look at Boat Help. You don't need to read all the information now, just remember you can go back to help at any time. To see a plan view of your boat and surround, position the plan view by dragging. You can center the plan on the boat using the button above the zoom buttons. Clicking again on the same button, close. You have completed this tutorial. Now find the next training boy for Know Your Boat Challenge Beginners. Stop the boat here, reduce the throttle or use some reverse if necessary. In this timed challenge, click on the question marks to identify parts of your e-sailed boat. The challenge will help you practice orbiting and looking around. Click next to start. The port side of the boat. Hint, that's the left side of the boat when looking forward. The starboard side of the boat. The bow. You will need to orbit to see this one. Hint, the bow is at the front of the boat. The stern. Hint, the stern is at the back of the boat. The helm. Hint, the helm is used to keep the boat on course. The chart table. Hint, forward starboard jammers. Hint, the keel. Hint, helps keep the boat stable and upright. Aft port winch. Hint, Aft is at or towards the stern, the forestay. Hint, the jib sail rolls up around the forestay. Well done! <laughs> now find the training boy for steering challenge, boy course. You need to go down a narrow channel.
stop the boat here, reduce the throttle or use some reverse if necessary. In this challenge, you will use the engine to steer between marker boys. See how many points you can collect. Keep the red boys with square tops to your left and the green boys with pointed tops to your right. You can use the plan view to see the course. Avoid hitting any boys. You will lose points. Start now. steer the boat so it is heading into the wind. Note, this is a timed challenge. Start the engine. Look at the wind indicator to see where the wind is coming from. The small arrow on the wind indicator shows where the wind is coming from relative to your boat. To steer into the wind, just steer towards the little arrow. Once the bow is into the wind, you will need to keep it there for 10 seconds. Then watch to see where the wind goes next. The challenge will start when you pass between the two orange boys. Start now.
In this tutorial, you will learn how to operate the control lines, winches and jammers on this boat. This boat has four winches, each of which has one or more control lines. Select sailing mode. Click on the forward port winch. Hover over the control lines button. If you select a lump, the crew member will pick up that line or swap to it. Select the mainsail halyard. Click the close up button so you can see the winch. Click the winch button. Each button that appears is a stage in the winch's operation. You can hover over each button for more information. Wrap the line around the winch. That's the third button from the top. Drag down and hold on the drag spot below the crew member's hands to pull the line or use the keyboard controls. The further you drag down, the quicker the hands will pull. Stop after a few pulls. To operate the winch handle, click on the winch button, then the winch handle button. Drag down on the drag spot to turn the winch handle. Just a few turns for now. Note that the winch handle only operates to pull the line in. The line can't be released with the winch handle off. Now take the line off the winch. That's the winch button, then the down arrow button. If you look up by dragging on the screen, you will see that you have raised the mainsail a little. So now we will lower it back down. Click on the jammer button shown. Releasing a jam, open the halyard jammer. Drag up on the drag spot to let the mainsail down. Or you can release the halyard completely. In the real world, a bit of manual help would normally be needed to pull the sail down. Now close the halyard jammer. Come out of the close-up view by clicking the close-up button again or by clicking on Smart View. Click on the aft port winch. From the aft port winch, you can control the furling line and port jib sheet. Note that the jib sheets do not have jammers. To jam the jib sheets, use the winch's self-tailing mechanisms. Try it now by clicking the winch button, then the second button from the top. Remove the jib sheet from the winch by clicking the winch button, then the down arrow. To move up and down the winch, you can also press the keys shown below. Normally, each crew member keeps to their own side of the boat. Sometimes, however, you may need both crew on the same side. To move a crew member across the boat, highlight a winch, then press the button shown below. You have completed this tutorial. Now find the training board for the next tutorial raising the mainsail.
In this module, you'll learn how to raise the mainsail. Start the engine. Look around by dragging on the screen to check there are no boats close to you. You can recenter the view using the Smart View button. Check the wind indicator at the bottom of the screen. The small arrow shows where the wind is coming from relative to the boat. Ideally, you want to steer a course which keeps the wind 10 to 20 degrees off the bows with just enough speed to maintain control. This keeps the boom from being directly overhead and allows a good view of the sail as you hoist. Once you are happy with the boat direction, reduce the throttle so you have just enough speed to be able to steer and engage the autopilot. You will be releasing the kicking strap and the main sheet to release the boom. You will then use the mainsail halyard to raise the mainsail. flap as you raise it. Click on the jammer button and open the main sheet jammer. Close the main sheet jammer. Click on the control lines button and select the main sheet. Tighten the main sheet so the boom comes back to the centre of the boat. If necessary, put on the winch handle and pull down on the hand's drag spot.
the topping lift. That's on the forward starboard jam. On some chartered boats, the topping lift is not intended to be adjusted, so you can decide not to use the topping lift. saying that another line is preventing movement. If you're not using the topic lift, you can ignore this message. Drag on the screen to look up. You will see the mainsail and telltale. Click on the autopilot to cancel it. Now add some throttle if needed. Turn the boat to the port, away from the wind, and start sailing. You will need to be heading at least 30 degrees away from the wind. letting it out and bringing it back in, depending on the wind direction and the direction you want to go. Click pause if you need time to read. Before proceeding with this tutorial, you need to be familiar with the best sail angles for different points of sail. There are many good references on the internet and elsewhere. Throughout this tutorial, you may need to use some engine as the mainsail will tend to pull the bow towards the wind. The mainsail should already be up. See the earlier tutorial. If not, raise the mainsail now. Steer the boat so that the wind is off your starboard beam. Steer until the wind indicator arrow is at 90 degrees to the... When the wind is off your beam, engage the autopilot. You're going to let the sail out so it's at a better angle for sailing with the wind off the beam. Wrap the main sheet around the winch. That's the winch button, then third button from the top. The friction will enable you to hold the sheet against the force of the wind. Ensure that the main sheet is wrapped around the forward port winch. Then open the main sheet jammer. Let out the main sheet a little and the boom will swing out. 
Drag up on the drag spot under the hands or use the keyboard controls. If you zoom out, then look up, you will see the telltales. If they are flying horizontally, then the sail is at the best angle. You can also click on the button show to see the telltales. The lower circle shows the main sail. The boat should start to pick up speed. Keep gradually releasing the main sheet. At some point, the boom will be too far out and the boat will start slowing down again. A boom angle of about 45 degrees to the boat should be about right with the wind on the beam. Now bring the boom in again. Firstly, close the main sheet jam. Put on the winch handle. Turn the winch handle to bring in the mainsail. Finally, remove the winch handle. You have completed this tutorial. Sail or motor to the next training boy for unfurling and adjusting the jib. In this tutorial, you will learn how to unfurl and adjust the jib. For the jib, we use jib sheets to pull the sail out on either side. Remember to use the pause button if you need more reading time. Steer the boat on a course of about 330 degrees, so the wind is coming over the starboard bow. on the aft port winch. First you will need to release the furling line. Open the furling line jammer which will allow the whole jib to unfurl. Pull the jib sheet by dragging down on the drag spot. Jam the jib sheet using the self-tailing mechanism. Click the winch button, then the second button from the top. 
now turn further away from the wind so the wind is coming over your starboard beam. Engage the autopilot. Click on the button shown to see the telltales. You will need to let the jib out a little. To release the jib sheet, take the sheet off the self-tailing mechanism so it's wrapped around the winch. Now drag up on the drag spot until the jib telltales are roughly horizontal. Jam the jib sheet into the self-tailing mechanism when the sail is as you... You have completed this tutorial. Sail or motor to the next training point for tacking and jibing. In this tutorial, you will learn how to tack and jibe safely. We will start with a tack. Before continuing, make sure your mainsail is up and jib is out. Steer the course so that you are close hauled on a heading of 300 degrees. Engage the autopilot. Make sure both crew members are at the aft winches. You can click a winch twice to summon a crew member. Ensure that both jib sheets are wrapped around the winches but are not jammed by the self tape Necessary. Often in real life, the crew member with the signal sheet will take the sheet off the winch completely. If you do take the sheet off the winch, you still need to control it by maintaining a little tension. Otherwise, the line will end up wrapped all around the rigging. When jibing, the mainsail will be fully powered up, so it needs to be controlled by bringing the boom into the middle of the boat first. The main sheet traveller should be centred and secure. Traveller adjustment is not available on this version of ESAC. Try and maintain speed as the stern comes through the wind to reduce sudden heeling with the steering pulling to the wind. Be ready to steer with opposite lock and to ease the main sheet rapidly to keep control of the boat. You have completed this tutorial. Sail or motor to the next training boy for reefing.
furling line and haul in until the jib is about two-thirds of its full size. Now bring both crew members to the forward winches. Make sure the main sheet and kicking strap jammers are open so the boom can move freely. Jammer. 
lower the mainsail about halfway down the mast. Now pull reefing line 1 on the forward starboard winch. Keep hauling until the line stops moving. Halyard. Haul until the line stops moving and you get a message from the crew saying another line is preventing further movement. At this point, the mainsail should be about two thirds of its normal area. Further shorten sail, fill the jib so that it's one third of its normal size, and use reefing line 2 to reduce the mainsail even further. You have completed this tutorial. Motor or sail to the next training boy for lowering the sails.